to me, Edmonton is like a good fishing hole. Uh, we don't tell everybody about it, but Edmonton will catch on to this, and Edmonton will do well with this project, and Park Allen is a good place to start. Welcome to Local Motion 2009, Episode 3. The person who wrote the successful application for Park Allen to become the host community also happens to be a transportation engineer. So we asked him the question that's on everybody's mind. Why Park Allen? Uh, the community was built in the late 40s, early 50s with uh, notions of a, of a centralized focus around the school, the small commercial area, a church. Uh, it was designed with continuous roads that have lots of cross connections but are also uh, discouraged through traffic so it's quite friendly to walking. Uh, we are well served by public transit. We have bicycle, designated bicycle routes and well used bicycle routes that run through our community. Uh, as I mentioned, it's quite a walkable community. We're within walking distance to significant employers. Uh, many of our residents already practice eco-mobility. Um, there's an ethic of sustainability that uh, runs fairly strongly through the community. It will take decades to evolve our whole city back to a model that enables eco-mobility. But when it comes to our weather, only a quick change in attitude is required. If we can't change the weather, then we have to ask ourselves, well, is it possible to, to work with what we have? And I know growing up as a kid, we, we would spend hours and hours outside playing. And, and nowadays with our, our kids, we, oh, it's a little cold outside, you know, don't get frostbite. I think that some of that needs to be rethought. We're at uh, the Park Allen Community Winter Festival event today, so here in, in Ellingson Park, in, in the, right in the centre of Park Allen. There seems to be a, a lot of interest in the concept and a lot of interest in how can we make it work in this neighbourhood. Thank you all for coming. This project is about doing something, trying to make a change at a local level, and we want to hear from you tonight what some of those changes could be here in, here in your community. As politicians, we can move the pieces around on the, on the big battle map and put more transit here and put more bike paths here, but we need to understand some of the psychology, some of the barriers, and you really have an, a phenomenal opportunity to help us with that. I have an exciting agenda for us to follow tonight, and we're going to get a lot done between now and 8 o'clock. What does eco-mobility mean to you? Carbon neutral. Okay, carbon neutral. Eco-mobility to me means more efficient use of whatever means of transport. Robert. Redesigning our life so it's scaled more on a, a, a local level. So we're making either you can walk there, you can bike there, you and your family could skateboard there. I mean, think about all the possibilities. Join us next time. We'll learn the results of the visioning session and we'll meet one Park Allen family that's taking on the challenge of Local Motion 2009.